Well, it's been decided by you guys that I can do what I want with this. I kind of thought that in the beginning anyways, but now it's proven. So the overwhelming comments were, do what needs to be done, fix it right, put it back to use, you know, that kind of thing. So I've made the decision after finding that I can get parts for this engine that I'm going to take this engine out of the machine and it's going to be totally disassembled, cleaned, and put back together, you know, as long as the, the parts are within spec. Anything that it needs that's way out of spec, I'm going to fix. But I'm going to try and use every original part that I can that's still usable. So we'll cut to the chase here and get this out of the machine for the first time in probably 60 years. Couldn't be that hard, right? Nothing happened. Oops. Nothing. Uh, broke the rod.
Let's do this. Ready? There it is. Here we go, guys. Uh oh. <laughs> Touched it. <laughs> oh, is this far away? I'm an inch away on my side. Oh, oil pump's in the mill. Right where the distributor should have been. So how do they turn it? Oh, the can, of course. Oh, look at that. It's got a screen up there. Well, oh, lift, lift it back up. <laughs> oh, it all looks good in there. Oh, you Cotter can, pin you can see that? The inner, inner, inner plumbing. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Crimped. I don't know. Got to tighten that. Yeah, it's got the um, cotter pin connecting rod bolts. Yeah, cotter pin. Yeah. Not the double sheet metal nuts. No. Gee. No, not the pal nuts where you need a buddy. I didn't put those on mine. You know the ones I mean. Stamp sheet metal. Yep. Like, what's that really going to do? Wow. Yeah, this is why it was always wow. a good move. Wow. To just remove your engine you plan on using because... Before you wreck it. Yep. In the first minute. Look, it's got internal... Will it start? Yeah. Will it fail? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool, because it pulls it from here. Any dirt gets caught there. Yeah. In theoreticals. In theoreticals. Yeah, that would. That's been... pretty neat. You know, that's something that could be done with yeah. different engines. Yeah. Around a turn, it's going to be hard getting out of there. Or yeah. Here or over, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's like a triple pan, triple sump. It makes it like a dry sump kind of because you can't lose your oil because it's roof, you know, it's captured. Yeah. Well, they probably designed it to operate on very steep grades. Make sure you clean your dips. Especially now. Let's see where it pulls. Oh boy, that's way down. A whiz of line. Yeah, yeah, so the dipstick goes into that hole. Dipstick goes down that far and there's the hole so yeah it is below this pan just behind, just under the ceiling there yeah well, and that comes off so we're gonna be able to pull that off and and, and clean it yeah no not all of it just the screen parts yeah you see I, I think that's the next step and pull that out and I'm gonna get the coolant drained out of this yep this right here Look at that die cast. Oh, it's, see, it's already loose. Nothing. Gonna you might to, have to poke it. I'm gonna have to use the valve spring. Can you pull the whole pet cop right off? Because it's probably clogged. It's pretty gritty, huh? How can there be none? Why do you use a spring for that? <laughs> when are you gonna rewind that spring? Ah, uh, soon. Look, it's it's in there. I can see it. You know it. I'm gonna have to take that right off. Yeah. But how can it, how is that not coming out Step right now? Nines. Yeah. Get that little manifold off.
That's my favorite part. Wow. Oh, the gasket's still good. goes anywhere. Why would there be a manifold there? And a drain. And does know, it go was... forward or does it go backwards? Um, no. It's a wall there too. Well, maybe we just pick it up by the crank. <laughs> Let it drain out the roof. These two at least. Can't get to him. seen by man. I reckon that might be the first time I don't, it's, it's been, been off. off. Yeah. I but it feels good. It's still got tension. We even bothered to balance it. All hundred RPMs. Well, should we pull the front cover? What is that? How did that how do spiders make a home in there? Very they get in everywhere. I don't like them. What it was is there was some spider eggs in the water when they put it in. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. It bal this is a very well balanced engine. Is it? Yeah. Hardly even using any efforts. It's all in the crankshaft. Yeah. Nothing happened. Nothing. Okay. Look at those rods. Look at them rods. They look like they're aluminum. But I they're know they're it. Not. You sure? They could be. They're magnet? Yeah, you do. Try and pierce one. I saw it. Look. What do you want to Look do? at the rods. Oh, see the rods? Show them. See the rods? Are those aluminum? Possible aluminums. Maybe just aluminum caps, hey. Nope, whole rod, I think, looks like that. Yeah, that looks it. No. Nope. No, they're just, it's, it's that steel that can't rust. Really? <laughs> How? Uh -oh. So you wanna, wanna pull one out? Well, of course. Yeah, the cam shaft's even nice. Really? How about, the, what are the lifters? They, they're like I said? Yeah. Do they, they look like the ones I yeah, described? Yeah, the big old mushroom type tappet. Like Abraham Lincoln's head. Like his hat? Yeah. Are they tight? Yeah, they're nice. Poor Babbitt, what do you think? Uh -oh. Let's side to side though. Yeah, I'll do this. this one too. That's okay. They're, they're all the same. <laughs> they just gotta, you know, they want enough oil to get in there. All right, we're gonna take number one out here. Here to me that no they have been apart because this is not how these pins should be mm -hmm. so they're supposed have... to go around the uh, threads correct no they go like this yeah that's what i meant What do you think that is, 40? Yeah, about. This is gonna be interesting. So it's about from contact. The quarter of a turn. There's contact. Yeah, it was um, only maybe a- Eighth of a turn. Yeah. But I have all the- Specs. I like how the, the rod caps actually say Hercules. It's you the do? first time we've seen the name. <laughs> they hide it sure. pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a pretty good connecting rod for the tying. Yeah. Shims. Oh, wait, no. They're... Shims. That it... is a shim. See it? Yes. Oh, boy. Be Never been done. Be careful. This I is know. serious now. Well, why Put are it you... just like it why is. Why are you freaking out? Because it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Is there one here? No, but. So. So there's one gonna... on both sides of that? Yes. 
How do you know which way? Because I, I just took okay. it off. Look at your face and see how you can tell where. I know. Is there a forward thing on it? It's a little bit rough. Yeah, I doubt it. All right. Well, push it out of there. Okay. And don't flip it. Don't be getting all confused. Don't, don't, that don't throw way. it up and catch it. You could even just move it forward and I'll put it back on. But just push it out of the hole. Careful, they jump. See? There's the stuff. It would have ruined it in two seconds. Yep, wrist pin's kind of tight. Not that it has to move a lot, but see that bottom ring? Mm-hmm. Bottom frozen. ring is stuck. So is the middle ring. Yep. But they're not broken. No. Look at that, SAE3140. So that is 3140 Pro Molly. Really? Wow. That's why it's not rusted. rusted. It's got a little here, but I don't think it's from itself. I think it drained onto it from something else. You see the rust right in there? Yeah. That's just a stain from something else that rotted onto it. Yeah. Okay, so that is cylinder five. 12. 16 <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Clean I, those I up. I would sand that down oh, yeah. just a tad with some nice well, thousand a grit. Scraper. You just make the... See the water? Bring out the dirt. Break out the pieces. See the water? See, these are shims. And the shims are used to create clearance. And when, when the uh, engine, you know get to rebuild these shims are here so that you can take up clearance back as, when as you need to crankshaft journals very nice you need the east wing yep. east s wing framing piston remover yep I maybe think. not maybe not on this one Yep, this is, you can't feel the ridge, but there seems to be something. Well, the rings have never gone there. No, they haven't. Scrape up, oh wow. That's a good looking one. Same story, but these piston rings are free. Look at that journal. Five minutes of polishing and it'd be perfect. Wrapping up. Oh no. The cam gears are wrapping. See how they're all metal gears? I wonder if there's any. Yeah. Two, two. Mm hmm. So they're at least match marked. Not even, we can mess it up. Oh, well, you're in the right area oh, now. Oh. Oh, you seized it. Big fat trouble. Oh, that, hey, that oiling pump is in the way. No, well, just for that one.
one of the next steps I'm going to perform here is I'm going to put these pistons and the connecting rods assembled into an ultrasonic cleaner in hopes that I can get some of these piston rings to come unstuck. So let's see how it goes. Alright, looks like the fries are done. Pull these out of here. And see what the results are. Looks like that oil ring is freed up. I mean, it wasn't that dirty. Curiosity is killing me here like a cat. I gotta see 
I gotta see what's in here. Now I've had diesel in here. Before I pulled the engine, I uh, drained the oil like you saw. And then I added about a gallon of diesel. Helped break things up, which it did. Where'd that go? Man, this is nasty. Oh boy. Looks to me like they're identical, just facing the opposite way. Yep, I can say for certain, that had this engine been uh, started up, that would have been, that would have been the end. Oh my God. I mean, there's no, there's no two ways to do this. I wonder if I could market this. That's, um, that's something. Well, I just, uh, I don't even know what to, I don't even know what to say besides it's uh, some terrible stuff. It's a terrible mess in here. I mean, it's uh, that's, that's the worst oil pan mud I've encountered. And that's saying something. I've I've encountered some stuff. Well, I think I'm gonna turn this uh turn this on its lid. I'm gonna take this balancer off of here. It's not really a balancer, it's more of just a pulley. I've got some tension on the bolts through this uh, pusher here. Once you have tension on it, you hit this, that goes down here, and it goes. You can tell by sound, like a dolphin. Now it is. It wasn't going at all. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Mm, it's done. Oh, look at that bushing. Mm. You want all this to be in your engine when you start it you up gotta after save 40 that. years. Where are you going to put that so you don't <laughs> lose it? The part number is that. Ooh. It still pumps. Sounds filthy, though. Let's pump some stuff with it. You don't want to take it apart first? Clean it? Right now? Okay. Alright. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oil pump works. If it can pull diesel. Yeah, if it can pull oil. in service. Another real clean part. Parts. These here, the ones that are going back? Yeah. Should be. Should be free. Just pull out. Mm hmm. I think you gotta twist it to get it off that gear. That spins. Yeah. With the crank. And then pushes this up. Right? As the balls go out, or the, the weights. Oh. This collar <laughs> so that is stuck so that collar would have to push yep on that bearing that bearing pushes on the forks bearings feel nice I just thought to myself, could they put a bolt in there? They could. They did could. they? They did. Uh, it's keyway. Keyway yeah. must be removed. No, use your pin your punch and punch it out of there. Lost it. 
There he is, Mr. Woodruff. Not oh, there it is. Is that a full cam or three quarter? It's a, it's a four eighths. Look at it. It's in really nice shape though. Steel, isn't it? Yeah. It's a pocket cam. Well, that's all for this time. Thanks for joining me in the adventure of the Mighty Cat. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, be sure to check those out, starting with the world's smallest dozer. And dead for decades, can the Mighty Cat be saved? Can this engine be fixed? It's come a long way from sitting in the dirt, and I hope you'll be there to see it through with me. Thanks. Wow!